I thank the board members to entrust me on delivering the welcoming address on the new venture Viva Institute of Behavioral Enhancement. It is necessary that we build characters. It's necessary that we build characters. I'm repeating that. Because we are molding the society. It is what we can do it. No one else can do it. And we are privileged to, to do it. So we should take this up. And I'll tell you, nothing in your life you will lose. Many of you are young. Live examples like Dr. Sarvapri Radhakrishnan, Abdul Kadam. As teachers, they have not lost anything, but they have only gained. They have only gained. So, get inspired and start the process. I am available of the meal. You have got anything you can pen down. Before we end, if anyone wants to ask anything, please do ask. I would find myself fortunate to reply accordingly to my understanding. There are only two types of people. Yes, please. Thank you. The programs that you fund up by teaching Vedanta and uh, Vedas in your institution, have you ever thought that can we, you know, summarize this and come to colleges and schools and teach the students? <coughs> like instead of, uh, like yes, teachers obviously as a society member we should be doing them, but can we bring this to the students? Yes, we do have. We do have, we have been doing sessions. We, I, last year we took up into Transform Indians to Transform India, India as a quiz. It's a book based on seven levels of human transformation. That is being done as workshops in the schools, colleges, B schools, in uh, institutions. Other than that, we tailor make the programs discussing with the management, the teachers, the counsellors, that what exactly is required. As you had seen, that we not only have the school, we have got 2,000 other institutions affiliated to us, to a program which is called as Chinma Vision Program. This is basically bringing about the cultural stature of the children in the institution. So we do have.
what session is it? We are arranging or? Yes, I got your point. I hope if I'm reading you right, I will just repeat. Is I spoke about bonding with the student, how the bonding has to be created. I had mentioned during my talk, the bonding with the student first starts is why am I here in front of the student? So the very first thing is, I should have done my homework. Homework. The subject matter should be very, very crystal clear to me. First prime important thing. I should know the subject matter. Next is every student is having a different makeup. I had mentioned it in the four structure. So where the student is lying. In. So depending upon that state where the student is, from there I have to slowly start pushing the student up. If the student is of the worker type, that is Jo bole wo kare. Of that, I have to develop the quality in the student. That confidence that he can do. Then, I have to develop the next quality in him is how he can defend himself in that subject that he is studying, opening up the subject to the student. In the way the student can take it up, not the way I can teach. The example of the mother taking care of two children. Then, as the student will start growing in that subject, can defend himself, you will find the thinker rising. And that is what your and my job is. And that is how the bonding has to be there. The bonding is not just the WhatsApp group. Through the WhatsApp group, what are we discussing? The bonding is not just going on a trek. Through the trek, what are we doing? My teacher used to say, if wheels are the mediums to be with the youths, let us travel on wheels. We used to travel regularly with youths, the Yuvakendra, on long bike rallies like from Chennai to Ladakh. Where we used to go across to different cities, learn about how that city used to prosper, not the negativity. How it used to prosper. The temple. What is the importance of the temple? Why and what was that saying of that Lord sitting there? As we travel, it is joyful, but it is educating. You have got industrial visit. There is joy, there is a picnic mood in the student. But through the mood, I have to bring in what we are going to teach there. If I am going to transport the classroom into the industrial visit, the student will not want to come. But by just simply doing the industrial visit as a picnic, what have we actually given to the child? So I have to blend through that. Like to a small child, you show chocolate and the child does. Then as the child's thinking grows, you are not going to do this for chocolate. 
you are doing this for knowing this. So you are shifting the child's focus from the chocolate to the subject matter. So you have to go on shifting. And that will be different from each student to student. And this thing will happen implicitly. It's no effort. It's only when I enjoy the subject. I have to enjoy. I am not teaching is not my profession. It is my joy in giving this knowledge. If you take it as a profession, then there's a give and take. It's in sharing. Then you will be able to be one with the student. Anyone else? <laughs> I thank everyone over here. On behalf of Viva Trust and Associate College and the entire fraternity of teaching profession, we are greatly encouraged by Grace's presence and immensely benefited by inspiring address. Dear friends, we have today with our most enduring Swami Nirvanandji. We will uh, definitely remember the visionary teaching, Dharma Makeup. I wish to express our profuse thanks for giving encouragement to talk to us to maintain peace within oneself. My thanks to all the management, principal, vice principal ma'am, teaching staff who have come to listen to the lecture. I also wish to express my sincere thanks to the non-teaching staff and technician and photographers too. Thank you very much and with this I declare the function is over. And I request all the staff members to have tea and snacks, which is kept as in adjacent room.